All right. Hello, everyone. Hello there. Good to see you again. Hello, Afroja. I see you. Justin Seeley's in the house. Good to see you, Justin, man. We need to chat. Um, but yeah, I'm going to talk about uh, basically like tricking out your video conferences, your live streaming, whatever you're using, blue jeans, um, Zoom, whatever the case may be, but it's just doing cool stuff like this. Whether it's abstract, like artwork, or actually creating a realistic scene behind you, because actually, you know what? What's behind me, if I could show you for one second, as I just, if I could do this, um, is just, uh, is just this, something like that. So that's what the background's like. You get the idea. It actually looks like this, right? So that's the idea. Um, so again, customizing that, keying out that content, right? To reveal, uh, what we want to reveal. Let me clip that white and we'll be back to where we want to be, something kind of like that. All right, cool. So that's the plan, Anna Baraka. Hopefully that works for you, Ashi. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a blast. I'm going to go ahead and kind of switch screens, and I'm going to be actually using a Zoom, just so you know. Um, let me first sign in. Got logged out because I've been testing this on multiple machines. So I'm just going to go ahead and start this meeting and you will see it here in a second. You can see right here we have it. So bam, there we are. Uh, again, just using Zoom, you could use whatever you want. Uh, yeah, Justin, so good to see you, man. Miss ya. Um, so yeah, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and trick out Zoom. So that's the whole idea. Okay, but getting that cool look and uh, really using lots of different ways of uh, making backgrounds, basically. But you can see right in here, I'm gonna go ahead and start video. Oh, and you could already see one of them. Look at that. Again, nothing too fancy. But let's go in here, let's go into uh, our video settings. So that's the first thing I'm gonna cover, right in here. Uh, these are my different cameras. I think I have this Logitech Brio, which is a pretty good camera. I know it's kind of trippy right now. Um, I think I have another horrible camera and let me just get rid of this virtual background. There we go. You could see what a difference the camera makes right off the bat. I mean, this should be pretty obvious, but the camera actually does a lot of work and is revealing that I got messy hair. Oh, I gotta fix this. Okay, so uh, that's the camera and that kind of brings me to my first point that I kind of want to point out. Uh, just your pro tips for when it comes to video streaming. It should be pretty obvious. Um, uh, Jennifer Poole, I have, you know what? Microsoft uh, Teams is pretty awesome as well. So we'll sometimes use Microsoft Teams as well. Gotta do a shout out for Microsoft Teams. Uh, it's been years since I've used WebEx, but the fundamentals, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. So, um, <laughs> uh, so Eric has a full-time job. So it, of, of watching Adobe Live, which is good. So use a w good webcam, right? This should be pretty uh, obvious. I'm using that Logitech Brio, uh, but honestly, the, the camera's only part of it. The other half is the good lights. You need to have good, like, bright lights. This should be really obvious because you could tell. You could tell good lighting and bad lighting. Uh, this Logitech Brio's maybe, I don't know, 100 bucks or something, uh, 100 US dollars. And this newer, there's a newer, newer ring cam light that's like 60 bucks. Um, so those are two things that we could do right off the bat. Uh, simplify your background, because you saw a second ago, behind me is just green, right? It's nothing fancy as you can tell as I click over to Zoom, right? So again, simplify everything back there if you can. This is just a green sheet tacked to my wall. So that's all I'm using right now. Hello, Bojana, good to see you. Uh, and then of course you wanna upgrade your mic because I don't know, Terry White said this, somebody else has said this before, but basically people ex will accept bad video, but they won't accept bad audio, especially if you're like live streaming, right? So they ha you just, it just, it, it just has to be uh, as clear as possible. I'm using a Rode mic, 
uh, which is right here as well. So anyways, those are just some quick things. I'm trying to give you easy solutions, like get a decent mic, simplify the background. You can see uh, as it is here, we can see my Rode mic right here, uh, using my Brio right up here. And then let's get into customizing, shall we? Let's do it. We're just gonna have some fun. So right down here for Zoom, we can go into video settings is the first thing I wanna point out. We can see my Logitech Brio. I can get into widescreen by the way. Uh, that's actually, since it's a widescreen uh, lens on that Brio, I can use that and you can see how, how it kind of changes. But I'm doing original ratio. I can enable HD, you ready for it? Boom, actually gives me this, uh, uses the widescreen as well. Let's actually switch this over. Yeah, let's turn original ratio, enable HD. So when I enable HD, it gives me this widescreen, uses the full HD uh, lens, but uh, I'm gonna keep it at the original ratio for now, just so you know. So I'm gonna disable, enable HD. But if you do have that capability, go for it, right? Mirror, mirror my video, you'll notice right in here what this does, touch up my appearance. This is specific to um, zoom, and it actually does make your skin look a little clearer, right? So let's turn that off. Let's zoom in on my face, yeah. Turning that on, you notice a slight difference, right? So it just smooths out your skin, right? Um, I'm gonna leave that alone, to be honest with you, and all we're gonna do is mirror our video. Let's go to the virtual backgrounds. We can see them right here, okay? Um, so again, right over here, what I can do is I can have it set to none. Obviously, if I pick a different background, these are some of the ones that they already have baked in, right? San Francisco, I don't know what I'm doing in grass, but sure, that can be a thing. Hey, let's put me in space, why not? Um, and then a couple others. Uh, here's a fun Northern Lights one as well as a beach, right? So these are the ones that baked in. I'm gonna show you how to make your own, right? Um, I will point out that as I click through these, even to San Francisco, you can see this green right here, and actually I think we really notice it here. See that green? We want to get rid of that. If you happen to have a green screen, come down here and say, hey, you know what? I have a green screen. He'll say, hey, you know what? It does a decontaminate colors, essentially. And you can see that already looks really good. Okay, so Paul Inception. Yeah, it's, it's silly, it's silly. So this is typically what I'll do. And I'll actually go back into my choosing my virtual background. I'll select none. This is what I would do. Go in here, go full screen, and guess what? Just do a screenshot, okay? That's shift command four, draw a box, or press the space bar. But basically I wanna capture uh, a reference frame. So that's the first thing I wanna do. Get that reference frame. You're gonna have that, load that up into good old Photoshop. Okay, here we are. I got a crazy, whoa, I got a crazy, look at that, look crazy eyes. Look at that crazy. Who does that? Oh, I don't even know if I can handle this. So you'll do this about 15 times. I'm gonna do another one because that one was so ridiculous. All right, so let's take this second one because that was horrible, don't you think, Valdair? Uh, uh, yeah, Jennifer, a lot of people like the Blue Yetis. I think um, Howard Pinsky, which was on earlier, he was on earlier today, uh, has a Blue Yeti mic that he, he's a big fan of the Yetis, right? Okay, so uh, there's that, there's that. Let's just go ahead and drop those in right in here. We're gonna drop them into just one file. In fact, that size is gonna be uh, 1920 by 1080. So let's go to image size in Photoshop. Sure enough, 1920, crazy look, 1920 by 1080. Uh, that is video size. So if we go to file new, if you happen to not do that, you go to film, film and video, you can see right here, HDTV 1080p, that's what we have right there. So I could start with that file if I want to, or just start with your screenshot, okay? Either way, I have this in here like so, we will turn off these little streaming, streaming tips and let's get into this. Actually, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna eliminate the green. I could do a remove background. Clicking on that layer does an excellent job. I'm gonna check my, so a number of things we need to do, we need to check the lighting, we need to check blacks and whites, we need to find some fun photos, so let's find some fun photos. I'm gonna go to stock.adobe.com, okay? Uh, we could also, hopefully we'll get to video. Um, uh, which would be awesome. Uh, 
Okay, I don't know, Steve, you're uh, crisp, K-R-I-S-P dot A-I. They increase the performance of your laptop mic. Interesting. All right. So that's fascinating. Uh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, Eric, put a fan next to next to yourself if you're using the beach vacation. So long, flowy hair. Uh, let's do someplace fun. Uh, I could do spaceship inside. Give me some other, feel free to throw out some other backgrounds or settings you'd uh, like to see me in, I guess. We're gonna go to the view panel. We're just gonna turn on photos. So I just want something photorealistic like that. Already we have some cool ones, right? So I would actually use Adobe Stock if I could. Jump in here, I love this one by the way. Look at that, that's amazing, right? So let's go ahead and save that to my library. It's in this default library, 10 days of ideas. So that's where I'll find it. Uh, but this is typically what I'll do. I'll go through and pick out a couple of them. So some key things that I'm gonna keep in mind and I'm gonna download some that I just know aren't gonna work, okay? And we will show you why, okay? But we'll also get some good ones in here. I've actually downloaded a lot of these already. And by the way, I'm just using uh, the preview images right now, okay? So there's that. Let's get that one for fun. Saving them all to my CC library. So move that over, bam, bam, here we are. Look at all these gorgeous, crazy images. What do you got? Oh, wow. Yeah, exactly. Background noise. It's everything. You know, it's like you even need to get kind of more on top of your mic and you'll actually get more bass out of it, at least with this Rode mic. OK. OK, so there's the background. Uh, we can grab a number one of number of these, which is what I'm going to do right now. Let's take a look at what might work and what might not work. All right. Taking this one, for instance, dropping it in there. You're gonna learn more about what not to do than what to do. And I think it's gonna be super valuable. This one actually might work, right? But it depends on the positioning of it. So let me just drop a couple more in there and we'll kind of walk through them. We have some different living rooms we can work with, right? Yeah, let's make a make it look like we're in a fancy living room and the, your, your boss will be like, I'm paying you what? And look at how nice your place is. I'm like, dude, it's just a studio. <laughs> This is really nice though, and this might work. Um, I'm not using, uh, it's not a widescreen, I'm not using the widescreen feature. So a lot of these images aren't really widescreen images, right? But I'm checking the horizon line essentially is what I'm doing for a lot of these. Modern office, oh, that's so fancy. We'll drop in a couple of these. You'll see what's wrong with some of them versus others. Uh, and you'll actually kind of uh, see what works with your clothing as well. So let's get some of these space images. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a nice one. Just like that, let's grab. Ooh, this one, here we go. Grabbing this fun space background as well. Cool, cool. How's everybody doing today? Is everybody having a good day? Hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, uh, yeah, so awesome. This one's gonna be really fun. We'll get to that one in a second, but we can start to take a look at these. We'll go back to this first one. Uh, this one might work depending on where I put the horizon line. So if it's gonna be up really high, that's a horrible idea. I'd actually definitely like move it down as low as possible. Like that's more along the lines of a vanishing line, a vanishing point. Um, Let's see some of these others that I have. See if I've purchased any. I can show you the high qualityness. We'll grab this one. It's like you're living in a museum. Oh, look at this museum. Museum quality. Oh yeah, right? Again, it's gonna be more about um, just dropping in images because there's just more we need to keep in mind. A lot of these might be working pretty well. This is another one, widescreen. This, this angle, mm, I don't think the one, so this one's really gonna work that well, right? I'm getting really lucky to be honest with you because sometimes you'll have photos and they'll have a weird uh, color cast to them or they have used a like 
a specific uh, like color lookup. So it might be, uh, I'm trying to make it look bad. You know, like that, for instance, that actually still works. Jeez, I'm trying to make this look bad and I'm doing a horrible job. I'm doing a horrible job of making things look bad. <laughs> But basically, if the color, basically, if the blacks don't match up, then it's not going to work. Okay? We could easily fix that. I want to find an image that just doesn't have very good blacks and, and uh, punch it up some. Actually, I think some of these museum ones will work out great. Right in there. Let me know if you have questions. This one might do it. I'm looking for a really washed out photo. These all actually look really good. Right? This is probably the worst case one right here, right? So you could tell the blacks aren't the same, right? They're just not, right? What I can do is I can jump in and, you know, check with the levels, for instance, right? And uh, for the levels, we can make the blacks blacker already, just like that. If I need to make the lights lighter, I can do that as well. Uh, I could start to make sure the tint of the photo is right. So if it was in daylight or maybe the light's more uh, white, then I'd want to shift that color. So it's just all about the color balance. Can I warm up that background? And basically this is where I have it kind of match my skin a little bit more just to make it look like it comes from the right lighting. Uh, yeah, exactly, Jennifer. If you, it's the shirt. If you wear something dark, it always seems to work better. Um, it, but it also depends on like the background as well. I think white. I would have, I could have been more successful with white because actually, what you're gonna get as we take a look right over here, I'll just turn on a virtual background and show you that we kind of do have a little bit of a halo right here, a little halo effect, right. That goes away if I'm using a white background or a lighter background, okay? So I'd want to probably try a lighter background, especially since I'm wearing a dark shirt, okay? Um, doo -doo -doo. So here, this is, you could definitely tell, look, look what's happening here. It's doing a pretty good job, but you have this white halo, right? So I know if it's a little bit lighter photo uh, or if I add light to something, it's going to work out better. All right, fantastic. All right. Okay, so this one's pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look at some of these other ones. Like this one here, for instance. Let's take a look at the size of things, okay? So let me go in here. Let's, let me show you something that is already baked into Photoshop that we could play with. So I'm just gonna do a new layer. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna go to the new patterns, right? We have patterns now available to us in Photoshop. There's a bunch of legacy patterns in here. Uh, you can really get lost in all of this. But if I wanted to have a nice wood background, I can drop that in like so, okay? Easy enough, that's all from these patterns, right? I can do that even with these leaves. I happen to really like, like this setting is kind of cool, right? But what you're gonna run into is sometimes the pattern will be larger or smaller. Like these leaves, I don't. I wanna make sure that they're not really large, right? This doesn't make sense, does it? Let's do 200, too big, right? We scale that down to about 90% or 80% and it feels a little bit more realistic, right? Same thing with this wood. These splinters are the si would be the size of my finger almost, right? So if I scale this down 80, this is more realistic, right? So it's just kind of checking the size and making sure it works for it. Um, cool. Afroja, I'm glad you like this. Awesome. Uh, for this, I would do a number of things, right? Because I could definitely use, for one, I want to make sure I don't have something like this where it makes it look like a wall's right behind me. Right, I can add a little bit of like a gradient, for instance. Right, let's just like, I can make, I can give it just like a little bit of depth by add it, making it darker on one side or inverting it and making it lighter on the top, right? Just with a little overlay. Another thing I can do is I could take this pattern fill, convert it to a smart object, and we can just give it a little blur, okay? So we'll go right in here, Gaussian blur giving it 
just a nice blur so it looks like it's further back, right? Um, and again, honestly, I don't think these blurred backgrounds would work very well. This just doesn't look that realistic, but I think a slight blur actually does help it a little bit. All right, so I put so much in one file. Uh, and uh, honestly, this is what, this is how I would start knocking out lots of different backgrounds with one PSD file. I would have uh, layer groups. So I'd make a layer group and I would call it background one JPEG, right? And I'll put this and make sure that is, whoop, double clicked on it. Make sure it's actually in here, background one. That's all I need to worry about calling it. Now I can turn on generate image assets, right? And then I'll go ahead and it will automatically make that JPEG, right? So we can go to that folder right here, background assets. Sure enough, there it is, background one, okay? So that's what I would do. Since I need to mock, knock out a lot of them, I would do uh, maybe a space background. Let's group a couple of those together. We'll do space one JPEG like so. We'll do office one JPEG with the elegant office interior. We have another uh, modern office. I might want to have two of those. Let's do it. Office two. Like so. And, oh, I love this living room. This is gorgeous. Can I live here, please? Oh, man. I would love to be stuck at home at this in this place. Like, look at that. Let me turn my mug off. But look at that. It's so nice. I'm going to get into some cool stuff here as well. Um, we're going to do a home one JPEG. Okay, like that. We're gonna do museum, group, museum, JPEG. Look, we're gonna, we're gonna knock out how many backgrounds in this short amount of time? One, two, three, four, five, six backgrounds is the idea. But I'm gonna get into cooler stuff because we could animate this and we can add some cool, fun lights and things. And in fact, we can get fun because we can add uh, something like abstract, but let's go back to the space one right here. So let's get a little bit more advanced. By the way, it did kick out all of these, right? We'll see them over here. I did nothing to them, right? We'll go right over here, clicking right in here. Oh, thank you very much, Photoshop. It ex uh, uh, publishes out all of those. And then I can go in and you know what? Let's choose that image, bam, and add it from this background assets. That home that I love, oh yeah, I wanna live there. Let's Let's pretend for a bit. Right, we get that gorgeous home, right? The beautiful house, museum, why not? There it is. I'm gonna get fancy on you in a sec here. Just got really lucky with these photos. Everything looks really pretty good. I think what does most of it, the space one we're gonna work on, uh, is, the, uh, is the lighting setup and the uh, scene as it's keyed out uh, everything pretty well, right? This one I might need to shift down a little bit. Okay. All right, check in, let me know if you have, uh, yeah, I'm super fancy. This is a super fancy place. Lamia, good to see ya. Hello, how are you? So again, this is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I can go through and select any one of these that I want. This one, I might even license because it looks that nice, right? Super cool. Okay, only thing about this one, I need to probably punch up the blacks of that photo, okay? But let's do, let's play with this fun one right here, right? This one we could do a lot of work with, so I'm really excited about this. Let's go into Photoshop, we'll go to that space background, we'll come in here, we will move this down. Let's say I have two images, that one's gorgeous too, but we'll just start with this one. We'll turn off everything else. And list, just rasterize this. I'll go into color range. So select color range. 
I'm going to click right here. I'm going to actually add the plus button and just start clicking around, adding more and more of that blue, right? So I'm going to try to capture all of that blue. The goal is to not, by the way, have any white show up. So I can always decrease the fuzziness if I want to, and that might help with it. But notice also if I hold down, what did I, there we go. Hold down the control, or excuse me, yeah, control key or command key if you're on a PC, I can actually see the image. So you can kind of toggle back and forth, right? But that looks pretty good. I'm gonna click OK. There it is. Samples those the insides of those windows. Let's go ahead and hold the option key down, click, and it does an inverse, basically knocked that out. Let's go grab some space. Space. Let's get some space. Oh yeah, let's grab this. Wait for it. Beautiful. Let's grab this one. Boom. Let's grab a... If we wanna maybe have a spaceman floating around, we could do that as well, okay? Just grabbing a couple things. Maybe the sun, check this out. Drop that in there, why not? All right, putting this on top. There we go, move that down. We have our nice, lovely space happening. Moving that up like so, there we have it, that looks good. We can drop in this one as well, let's try that. Let's throw a lens flare in there, let's change the color, let's do a thousand things, right? Let's add, let's rotate this. This is what I wanna do, I'm gonna rotate this like so. Let's blend it in, B for brush, painting with black, just to make that blend in, something kind of like that. I don't know, I don't know, we'll, we'll work on it. Still might need a little bit of work. Nah, doesn't look good. We're back to where we were. Let's do this, you ready for this? We're gonna add a black layer, bam, all black, and we're gonna go into filter render. We're gonna render out a lens flare, right? We'll put that lens flare just off to the side like that. Let's crank it up a little bit more, right? Like that, make it pretty bright. Click OK. Maybe increase the saturation, right? And then let's change this to lighten, right? We'll do something like that, just pushing that off to the side. Okay, so hopefully something like that will work. I'm right there, I could see that sort of bright light. Uh, I could start painting the interior, wait for it, painting, B for brush, sampling that, uh, red, let's paint uh, the interior, let's get a lot of this, splash of red, okay, and by the way, let's change this down to uh, screen or lighten, ooh, overlay, right, so we're just making it look kind of red on this side, right? have a splash of that color, maybe it kind of spills over over here, right? Making that kind of red-ish, right? You get the idea. Okay, so now this is what I'm gonna do. I just, again, thought this would be fun. Let's turn off my ugly mug and um, maybe add another light off to the side. I could, but let's just do, let's just do that. Because I wanted to kind of show you guys these lights. Check this out. So I have this light. Some of you have seen me use it, but this is, uh, uh, bowling, B-O-L-I-N-G, and it's an LED light, right? So I can crank up the, actually I'm changing the hue. There we go, just made it red hot. Red hot, oh yeah, right. Look at that, gorgeous. And I can, I can go through different colors, but I think we'll go with this red. Might be a little intense. I can adjust that wheel, right? But I'd say that looks pretty good, like that. Let's move that, and again, that's just kind of out of frame. Splashing a little bit of red on my face coming from that side of that background, okay? So clicking back over, right? You could already see how it's gonna work. Oh, I think I need to flip it. I probably need to flip it. Do I? Yeah, I need to flip it. Let's take all of this. Flip horizontal, there we go. It's gonna have to be on the other side, I'm sorry. So that's the side it needs to be on because I'm flipping the camera. 
it's a whole thing. All right, so with that done for space one, let's go back over here. You can see actually, whoa, really blows me out on this side, but let's load in that background real fast. Choose virtual background, space one. There it is. Yeah, it's space one, right? Let me just double check. Let's make sure we're loading up the right one. Yeah, here's the file, right? Open that up, there we go. Now I have it loaded, and you can see that red kind of coming from that side. Let's turn this down, because it's way too intense. Right, oh, that hurts my eyes. But already this is like, I feel like this is more realistic. That's right, Tunk, I would dissolve away. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like a villain. Oh, from a Star Wars meme, the last thing from a villain. But let's go ahead and uh, let's go in here. Let's save this. Let's add an even cooler one. I like space one. Let's do another uh, abstract. Let's get rid of a lot of this stuff. Clearing that out. Maybe it is under space. Oh yeah, this background is awesome too, All right? I don't know what this reminds you of. Does this remind you guys of anything? But yeah, now we'll have an, an abstract version. Again, just some fun art. It doesn't have to be realistic, obviously, right? I can still play with this color some more, so I can... Uh, da -da. Uh, go into hue and saturation. I could do a colorize. I could crank that up, right? I can make that more, um, more pink. I could start painting with that color now. So I'm just painting on that side and adding more red on one side. I could do the same thing for the other side. Let's duplicate that layer because I'm lazy. Let's fill it with black. Actually, let's invert it and change the color to more blue. Maybe on the other side, it doesn't matter. Teal, invert. Let's just have some fun, shall we? I could have more blue on one side as well. So again, just playing around. Uh, Cuz, what, what else do I have? First of all, let's change this color. Oop. There we are. We're just having fun with lights. And we're gonna use this one. Again, I got another one of these, it's crazy. But again, we can have that blue on the other side, cause why not? There we go, that's, that's pretty blue. I could probably crank it to a little bit more teal. There we go, we'll just position that like so. I now have this abstract background. Let's close that. Let's go in here. Boom. Load up the abstract one. Abstract, there we are. Boom. Oh, sorry about that. Did not show you that, but here we are. Oh, I always do that. I always have the, it flipped. I keep forgetting that it's flipped. So let's just take this, Command T, right click, flip horizontal, boom, save it right you do have to uh load it up each time okay if you happen to restart zoom it will um there we go give you the latest ah so this is cooler yeah you into this right little bit confusing with two of me on there so let's just make it one you get the idea. Again, just fun background. I'm just using these lights. It's all about making sure the background, uh, again, matches up with the foreground. If it takes using an extra light, do it. But just, you're either gonna pick that light from the photo, or you're gonna make the photo look like your lighting uh, that you already have, okay, in your studio. Could probably turn this down a little bit more. Too much blue. There we go, kind of like that, it's a little softer. 
Yes, Cody Bear in the house. Cody Bear, you are exactly right. Like lighting is everything. Um, and now we got some hipster lighting. I don't know what you'd call this. What, do, what does this look like? I think this looks like a Tyco album cover almost. Let's go into video settings. Touch up my appearance. That makes it look a little bit better. So again, this is this is what I normally look at. This is basically, I just applied makeup in video format. <laughs> so yeah, thanks Paco. These lights are super fun, as you know. So these are really fun to work with. Um, yeah, we just had fun with these. Uh, we could still go more realistic as well. As I jump back in here, we, oh, actually I could even switch in here to those virtual backgrounds that we could play with some more. So obviously this isn't gonna work for this setting, uh, but I do wanna license one of these and, and make sure it matches up as well. Cause this one actually has some nice warm lighting. Ooh, before I do that, are you ready for this? We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun with this one. Uh, yeah, why not? We're gonna have some quick fun with this one, shall we? Let's go in here, hide that. Remember, this is using this generate, file generate image assets. So these, all these images are updating, you know, as I go along. J, command T, right click, flip, boom. This is just so I don't have to change the lighting for every single photo. That's why I'm cheating this a little bit. So yeah, let's put one over there. Why not? Okay, done. Now it should match up and I can paint some more and all that stuff. Right, we get it. Okay, maybe it's too much. Oh wait. Oh well, well, we'll continue. Continue with it that way. Uh, because what I could do in here, I thought this would be fun. We have this these stars. Um, and let's really make this large. Okay, we're gonna make this large. Even have that cool background back there, like so. And this is what we're gonna do. Uh, sorry, this is gonna get crazy. But I'm gonna go to window and I'm gonna open up timeline because you saw in Zoom you have the ability to add uh, video. So I'm gonna create a video timeline. It's gonna get crazy in here because I have so many layers. I'm back, sorry about that. What's up, Sam? Uh, so create video timeline. Look at this is the craziness, right? So this is really crazy. But what do I wanna do? I just wanna animate one layer. We're just gonna keep this really simple. Happens to be called this empty asphalt floor with night sky, <laughs> right? So it's just a matter of going into space one, scrolling down. Here it is, twirling that down and transforming it. So I'm gonna click on this, adding a keyframe right there. I'm sorry this is crazy, but I should have cleaned this up. I apologize. Let's just do this really fast. Dropping this down here, shrinking this like so. And uh, scrubbing this, there we go. Making it look simpler for you. Let's move this over here, go down. Um, let's just click play. This is about five seconds long. Uh, I'd wanna do a perfect loop to be honest with you. So I'd actually come down here to the end of this timeline and click right here. So I wanna add a, key, oop, add a keyframe right here at the end, clicking right there. Okay, so now we have to start and end are exactly the same. Going in the middle, it's gonna be a little rushed, I get it, but we can go ahead and move it, with my arrow keys, or drag it over like so. We really just wanna do a slow pan of those stars, okay? Keeping it really subtle, because we're in a meeting. Well, we can't, we can't be annoying everybody with all our effects all the time, <laughs> although I'd love to, okay? So with that done, we'll render out this video Export, render video, and we'll do all that fun stuff. Oh, Dan, I'm glad you like this. This is really fun. I think these lights are awesome. I just wanna carry around like fancy lighting everywhere I go, right? I wanna strategically set up lighting before I enter a room. So I just always have these cool, <laughs> cool lights. Cody Bear's in the house. What's up? All right, I got about uh, 
20, I got, I got 15 minutes. And uh, just so you know, I'm using, well, I'm using Photoshop. I could also use After Effects if I want to, but I'm doing this for a Zoom call, okay? So um, that is it. Let's render it out to the Zoom folder. Uh, everything there that looks good. 1920 by 1080, render, done. Hopefully audio wasn't checked because I don't need it. All right, Steve, that's doing its thing. Uh, I should have done this sooner, but guess what? This gives me a chance to jump out here and take a look at just some fun video backgrounds. So I go into video, a couple more things I could do, I'm excited about. Same situation. Adding this slow push in potentially for uh, for my background. So right here, save that to the library as well. Oh yes, Agnes, use it for a thur Thursday video interview. By the way, I do think it's really, so these lights help out a lot. I'm kind of doing a virtual scene anyway. It is, I think it is more challenging. Again, I'm sorry this video is taking so long to render. Uh, just doing a really realistic scene right? Because you have to take into account, obviously, the lighting, the color of the lighting, uh, the blacks of you on, on you as a person, your blacks, your whites, you got to color balance all of that. Um, and then also like the grain. So there's going to be a certain amount of like grain, especially when it gets compressed as video, that you need to have that same sort of like graininess or non-graininess to match up with the background as well. So... Anyways, I'm gonna grab a couple of these really fast. Here we even have, uh, what do we have here? I don't really see that one moving. Like this one's awesome. This one would be really hard to pull off because the lighting is changing over the course of time. So. Uh, so Tunk, um, I'm just using um, good old Photoshop to do this render. Looks like it's done. I'll save this file and we'll go out there. And there it is being synced. Actually, I don't even need to sync it. Oh, you ready for something fun? I'm going to show you something that's going to blow your mind. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be so much fun. Okay, so right over here, we've worked on adding images all day long. I'll add some more. I could probably uh, actually buy some of those images so you can see it a little bit better. But right in here, uh, yeah, this is our video. Wow, we're moving fast, right? Just going back and forth. But I'm glad if I would have made it longer, um, it, we would have just had to waste more time just you know for the render. So I'm glad this is just slowly kind of moving back and forth or actually quickly moving back and forth. I'd make it go slow if I had more time, right? So that's a, a render later on, but this is like, it's like the spaceship is looking for someone. <laughs> uh, and the lights are still a little bright. I'm gonna smooth those over like that. That's a little better. Okay, just having fun in Photoshop, all done in Photoshop, right? Uh, cancel. Let's take it to the next level. You ready for this? Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. So, there is something that you could try, and I encourage you to. And it is called, um, yeah, it is called Snap Camera. So Snapchat allows you to make filters. We could use that in Zoom as well, okay? Um, yeah, so I don't think this is actually, technically this is not gonna work. Please don't give me, I'm gonna get out of this one. So this is this is where we're at. I'm gonna switch screens over here really fast. I will add something that I think you'll like. And you just need to give me a second because I'm gonna show you how you can use something like Snap Camera Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. to do this magic. All right, give me one second. 
the reason I have to do this on a different machine is because we currently are not allowed to install these on our work machine. So I have it on a separate, a separate uh, screen. So there we are. Let's just go right there. Oops. All right, let's hide this. Move that down there. Move that down. And you can see what we have here, uh, snap camera. So uh, taking this really fast, let's go into like characters, for instance. Let's pick a character. And sure enough, we could actually use this character in Zoom as well. So download snap camera and you can have uh, faces like this, have a helmet, right? Have our crazy guy like so, you get the idea. So you could actually use this in Zoom, by the way. Um, which I'm glad I'm doing this tomorrow night because I want to get into this a little bit more uh, tomorrow night if I could, um, adding like a separate video feed um, to Zoom. So anyways, just kind of pointing that out to you. I think it's super fun. Um, and more on that later once I can get it installed. But right now, IT says no. All right, you get the idea. Uh, by the way, when it comes to those snap filters, we could actually make those snap filters as well, like in Illustrator and Photoshop. So I think that'd be a great idea for a future stream. Uh, I have uh, 10 minutes to go, which is good. We've made this one. I think that one looks fantastic. We go back in here. Space one and background video going in here, turning on this playing a little bit more with some of these. In fact, I wanna license some of these because I think these need to be touched up on more as well. Like this home and then this, this museum probably both need a little bit of work. So I'm just gonna come in here. Once you decide you like something, you could right click on it and license that image, which is what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Can you use character animator in Zoom? What a good idea. I don't think so. I wanna say no, but let me, that's a good point. So basically you need to create a virtual camera out. So anything, if, if Character Animator has the ability to do a virtual camera out, then that will work. Yeah, Colby, you're a genius. I'm gonna test that tonight between tonight and tomorrow night. And uh, if I can get that to work, then I'll show you using character animator. Colby, if, if I had, if I could just give you some money right now, I would. <laughs> I don't know, I just owe you because that's such a great idea. So that's what I will uh, work on. Lamia, good to see you everybody over there. Afroja, Bernard as well. This is Zoom as well, like we talked about. Let's confirm this. Right in here. Take this one as well. Grouping it. Office three JPEG. Three fancy offices. Each one a little bit different. And not to mention our fancy home. So let's go ahead, take this fancy home. It's gonna export out, we'll load it in. I love my space background. Now remember, it's not going to actually automatically load up the files unless you restart, but I find it just as easily just to locate that image and bring it back in, right? There it is. And now we can turn off these lights like so. And for this one, you want to think about uh, even kind of pushing the... Um, Like, I don't know, I think pushing the uh, the look a, a little bit, uh, kind of like I'm doing, like I'm adding this yellow because there is a little bit of yellow sort of sunlight kind of coming in. So I'm adding yellow off to the side. Let me bring that down. Hold on. I'm still getting used to this. Uh, this light. 
I'm trying to look at it and it keeps burning my eyes. <sighs> yeah, still a little intense. But again, I'm just playing with the lighting to kind of try to match the lighting in that in that room a little bit. All right. Cool. I'd say this one looks pretty good. Any suggestions for this one? Because I think this one looks good. I don't think this one really has any changes. Been getting so lucky. Thank you, Adobe Stock, for making these so good, right? They look so good. Even this one in a museum. Um, let's jump out here. Let's search for images. And uh, we will do a uh, poster. More darker, maybe? Yeah, may maybe you are right. Yeah, I think you are right. I think that background, because like, like I was talking about earlier, if you zoom up, it kind of works a little bit better, but at least from your view, like these blacks technically don't match up. This one is actually a little bit lighter. So uh, going back in there, do that same thing. Take this. Levels or curves, whichever you like, taking that down a little bit, like so. Done, done. Take a look at a couple of more of these. Ah, gorgeous. Oh, not rasterize. I want to license this image. and uh, kind of take a look at this one. This one's interesting because what's happening here is probably, I don't know, maybe a little bit wider angle lens, but the issue that this is actually, um, you know, you got some pinning, some, some warping that's going on. So chances are I'd probably want to straighten this one out. Okay, we could do that a number of ways. I'm actually just gonna eye it. Hopefully that's okay with you. We'll go into distort, right? And yes, there are, there's a perspective tool I can use, but I also know I only have four minutes left. I'm just going to go ahead and warp that like so. There we are. Let's turn me on again, see what this looks like. These blacks as well. Let's swap this one out. New museum. New levels being applied. It's still way too dark. Let's auto set that. And go with museum. So museum and home one. Let's do it. Bernadette, hello. Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful night or morning or early morning. Join me tomorrow night because I want to get more into uh, animation, right? So here's a situation, definitely, I would probably want to either get rid of this light altogether and take some of these tones, because see how yellow this is compared to uh, the orange that is uh, currently on my face? After taking a look at that, and again, I should notice it in here a little bit more, but let's go in and tweak it a little bit. Uh, so again, we can go with color balance, for instance. Go a little bit more red, right? And something like that. Let's try that. Saving the file. I don't even need to save it. It'll actually automatically update. So let's go back in here. Grab our image. I would say that does look better. Still need to pull out some of the yellows. Some golden hour sunlight. I like it. I'd actually really, I could really like muscle this some more by using hue and saturation. So let's go in here. Hue, saturation, and then shifting this even more 
into those red tones. That already is gonna look better. That's what, it, that was my first instinct and I thought I'd get fancy with color, balance, and I didn't need to. Museum. There we are. Almost too red, but you get the idea. Cool. <sighs> oh yeah. All right. Getting down to the last couple minutes. Hopefully you guys like this. Again, um, this does all the keying for you. Notice I have a green screen and I'm applying those backgrounds. Just to recap, this is what it looks like normally. And now we have a little green screen and a lovely room or spaceship, as you can see. All right, everyone. Well, that's it for me. Let me know if you have questions. I think this stuff is super fun to work with. I've probably had the most fun with these lights in video just because uh, I'm nerdy like that, I guess. So let me know if you have questions. Join me tomorrow night. I'll be getting into some more of this. I'll probably do a little bit more animation. Um, I would like to cover a uh, snap camera more if I could, but um, yeah, it just depends on what, uh, what I'm able to get away with on my work laptop. So thanks so much, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will... Uh, <laughs> yeah, Jennifer, I think the spaceship is best. Still, still, it has issues. I got some green in the way there that's kind of weird, but uh, you get the idea. All right. Afroja, it's 5.25 a.m. Wow, that's crazy. It's late. Anyways, I'll let you guys go. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Uh, yeah, check the schedule below. You can see that we're going to start tomorrow. I see a... 5 a.m. time slots below me. So uh, that's what's happening there. And then 8.30 a.m. Uh, got some raster and vector drawing. Full day tomorrow, basically. Thanks, everybody. Hopefully it was fun to watch. I think it's fun making this stuff, and hopefully you're inspired. Yes, good call. Play safe.